So now I've got this libuv, which is under chapter 9. libuv. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is install it, rather build it. Okay, looks like my mouse has got funny again. So let's restart this. I'm not sure why this happens. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm because um, I'm recording or don't know what it is. Uh, so let's just restart the server again, the daemon. <coughs> Okay, um, that's such a final directory. Well, that's definitely there. Uh, It's readable. Oh, yeah. oh, right, yes, I've seen this before actually. Um, yes, uh, what we need to do, I'm, I'm not sure what this is. I remember having this a few months ago and um, there is a page on the internet which says to run, to fix this error, to run um, I think it's auto reconf minus IFV I think it is um, now I wasn't very happy about that because I didn't know whether it was doing the same as what the auto gen script does this this autogen script does so um, I did narrow it down to the fact that um, if I rerun this in fact it's mentioned on the web page that I saw um, yeah let's run that one there that's it the issue apparently although I'm not sure if this is correct or not that apparently this Um, string here is in quotes and that equates to this variable which is um, has, has been set if I echo it now I think it's only put the single quotes in there because it's got spaces in there um, so I'm not sure that's completely to do with it although the, the web page did say that because it what's happening is that when this is being executed this whole string here is being taken just as that just as a single string or a single file name and that's why this is failing um 
uh, like I said, I'm not really completely convinced by that. It, it may well be the case, but it does point to the way it's actually reporting the error. Um, but I don't understand why it's happening. Um, obviously, the script should work as it is, and it doesn't. But the way I got around this was not by running the auto reconf, was just by actually removing the double quotes here, and it, it does run correctly then. So what I'm going to do is remove that directory libuv and start again. Uh, and let's get the web page back. But this time, yeah, this time I'm going to modify that auto gen script. Now, apparently, the person who reported this did say that it happened in several places. So I'm going to have to try and remember that if we see this again to see if we can fix it in the same way it's kind of a workaround because I, I don't really understand why it's happening and if i did i'd be able to obviously fix it correctly um the guy who reported it said that he'd rebuilt i think it was the auto make i think the package this is from done all the tests in fact i think he'd suggested that he'd rebuilt the linux from scratch again from from scratch from the very beginning again and was getting the same results so it's a bit weird that he got it, I'm got it, getting it, and, um, you know, there, there didn't seem to be any reason for it when all the tests passed, so whether it's the influence of another package or not, I not, don't know, I've not looked deeply into it, but um, for now, I'm pretty sure I found that deleting the quotes around that variable, and then, then running the commands to build lets it run through and the tests run as well so let's try that again yes yeah, it's worked this time if i stop the output um you can see when it's run the ac local command this time there's no quotes around what the contents of that variable has got ac local um so as me, yeah, maybe as the, the reply suggests, it is taking the whole of that string for some reason as one complete command, if you like, rather than just seeing AC local as the command. Um, but why that is, I don't know. I don't know why it's happening. But let, let's let this carry on and build, and then we can run the check. As long as the check passes, we've got a you know pretty good, confident, um, or could be really pretty confident that uh, the package will, will have been built correctly obviously so let's just do that make check Okay, so yeah, it has actually passed. So let's go now and install it and make install. So it's not ideal that we've had a little error and I've kind of worked around it, but um. It's it's the best I can do at the moment, uh, without really understanding why why that's happening, why it's happening for me, and obviously the, for the um, authors of the BLFS book, it doesn't happen. I've I've looked at the current development, and although it uses a newer version of libuv, um, it's still you know the instructions are the same, so it's it's nothing to do with the package. It's obviously some other influence. 
Anyway, that, that package is installed. So let's tidy up. 